Hello everybody! The USFL Week 7 has just wrapped up and man, let me tell you, um, what an interesting weekend, let me tell you, what an interesting Memorial Day weekend of USFL football. It's the type of football that we've been need. let me tell you. Um, you know, you got New Jersey Tampa Bay, which was supposed to be the best game of the weekend, and you know, that game that game was one of the games that delivered. Let me tell you, it delivered. Um, Jordan Tamu, he threw three picks in this game against New Jersey. Just not a good look. And I mean, the Bandits also lose by throwing away on fourth down again. Which is, you know, not, not great. So, you know, the Bandits, not in a good position. You know, three and four, I believe, right now. You know, that's not where you want to be. Still time, but not where you want to be. And for the Generals, you clinch a playoff bid. Drayvon Askew Henry got two of Tamu's three picks. And Darius Victor also made a contribution with a touchdown in this game. And I think the Generals, they just did what they needed to do. With the ball, play good defense, and you're, you're straight. Ready for the playoffs. So, with three weeks left to go in the season, you know, just three games left against the, you know, against the rest of the division now. Everybody else, I believe everybody else, is, I believe it's all division games left for th these teams. Uh, you know, the Generals are in a great position to where they could, you know, take it all the way to the USFL Championship, the USFL Bowl, I believe that's what they're calling it now. So there you go. New Orleans, Michigan was later that night. It was pretty late, but we got the first ever overtime game in the new iteration of the USFL. The Kyle Slaughter to Jonathan Adams connection was absolutely clutch. You know, a crazy catch that I didn't think was going to be a, a catch. It ended up being a catch. And I mean, unfortunately for Michigan, you know, Josh Love was able to get the start. Remember, Shea Patterson got cut. I mean, you know, the rub game was good. Josh Love was playing all right. I mean, he was like borderline 50% passing the entire game. But the mistakes, the mistakes, you know, you you got a botched snap in overtime. You got a missed field goal that, you know, should have been made, you know, to put Michigan even at more of an advantage to where they didn't have to, you know, have New Orleans tie the game because, I mean, you know, that way, like, New Orleans would have had to get a touchdown instead of a field goal, and it just didn't work out. And New Orleans wins an OT, you know, it's best two out of three, you know, two point tries in overtime. And again, Kyle Slaughter, you know, he, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't doing that great in the first half, but you know, the second half really, you know, really get really kicked in. You know, and it kicked in the overdrive for this man, and he was able to deliver the goods and put New Orleans in a better position in which they should be in a comfortable play. <laughs> well, we go to next week, you know, should be the comfortable place. We don't know yet, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how next week goes, you know, for them. And then Sunday, the games just finished up here. Uh, you know, Birmingham, Pittsburgh. Now, I was a little bit worried for Birmingham for a while. However, However, despite the fact that Jamar Smith did play well again, I mean, he was very inconsistent. I mean, at one point, he was like less than 33% completion percentage on his passes. You know, Pittsburgh fumbled the bag. Kirby Wilson, you know, had, you know, the, like like Pittsburgh had the opportunities to win this game, but they let the, they, they, let, they let the Stallions get back into this game, you know. They, they let him they let him back into it. CJ Marable with a touchdown. Jamar Smith, you know, playing well. Bobby Holly, the fullback, you know, on a fake punt got a touchdown. That's what helped. That's really what helped propel Birmingham over the top. And I mean Birmingham's just the second half team. You know, they played much better in the second half. And that's the same case here for this game. And unfortunately again, you know, Kirby Wilson is just I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't really I don't really see the point in, you know, having this guy around next season because, I mean, 
Apparently the issue here for Bad Lee was not pizza, but body language. And that got him benched for Ronald Rivers, who did not do well on you know the couple drives that he was on. And it's unfortunate. So Birmingham and New Jersey have clinched playoff spots. And teams that are probably not going to be going anywhere. They're, I don't think they're going to be going to the playoffs. Philadelphia and Houston, as we wrap this up here. Um, Kenji Bahar came in for an injured Clayton Thorson. And he, he played he played all right. He played all right for a good minute. You know, Donald Payne Jr. got two picks in this game, including a pick six. That really helped the gamblers out. But then the second half came, and Philadelphia proved to be too much. Case Cook is got going in the second half. You got the defense, especially guys like Channing Stribley, you know, getting a pick, a forced fumble late, a safety, making the plays that you know the stars needed. The stars defense did what they needed to do. They made the plays in this game of the second half. And they limited the gamblers, you know, again, because the gamblers had the lead at halftime and they squandered it again. That's pretty disappointing. It's pretty disappointing. And I believe the gamblers are eliminated from playoff contention, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe there was a scenario, you know, to where, you know, the gamblers, they are eliminated from playoff contention. And you know it's 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 it's, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that you know you know somebody had to get eliminated this week, but it is what it is. Um, you know, Houston, Pittsburgh, and Michigan are all you know one and six. They're all pretty bad. You know, but I don't know who's worse. At Michigan is Michigan worse? Is Pittsburgh worse? Or is Houston worse? I mean, it feels like right now we have a collision course between Birmingham and New Jersey. You know, it depends on what New Orleans can do to stop Birmingham. Because I don't know if anybody from the from the uh, the other division, the North Division, like almost said East, the North Division is going to be able to stop New Jersey at this moment. But we'll see. We'll see. All division games are left on the schedule. It's just division games for the last three weeks of the season. So. You know, it is what it is there. And, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll be back here in about two hours to talk the NBA Finals. Cause we got to talk the NBA Finals, baby. Um, I got to do something. I got to do something. I got to talk my prediction, talk, you know, a little preview, how many games I think this is going to go, and, you know, everything like that. And I will see you all again for USFL content next Thursday? Yeah, next Thursday. So it'll be after Game 1 of the NBA Finals. Um, yeah, Game 1 of the NBA Finals is on Thursday next week. So come back at like 10.30, you know, 10.30, 11 o'clock on, you know, on June 2nd. That's a Thursday. And, you know, I'll see you all Monday for, you know, Memorial Day Monday, you know, for, you know, a little double header instead of a triple header it's going to be a double header uh, so until then i'll see you all soon